Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Peperomia gravelionis or rupee glow. This is a small shrub that can reach up to 25 centimeters or 10 inches tall. It is known for its red wine colored stems and extreme succulent leaves. These leaves are also usually in red wine color except for the upper parts of the leaf that are usually transparent v-shaped or green. The flower raisements are simple and resemble a rat tail. Its stem, like powdery lime green in color to the naked eye, can usually grow up to 7.5 centimeters or 3 inches tall. When it flowers, you can expect yellowish-white flowers to grow up to 25 centimeters or 10 inches along around the stem. This succulent is perfect for people who enjoy making arrangements, as it's very suitable to be a filler in such arrangements. The plant is in USD hardiness zone 10A to 11B. That means from 30 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 1.1 Celsius to plus 10 degrees Celsius. When caring for the ruby glow, it is not particularly hard as their small size and delicate leaves make them perfect for a desktop and disc gardens. They will rarely overtake the neighbors or shade them out. In short, they are perfectly mannered and beautiful little plants. One of the main issues with this succulents is related to water. They like steady moist soil but can be extremely sensitive to overwatering. If overwatered it will die so you need to be careful when watering. Do not be alarmed if your plant loses a few bottom leaves. But massive leaf droppings is usually due to a temperature change or to the fertilizer that you're using. Lastly, peperomias are suitable to mealybugs. So you need to be careful and pay attention to your plant so that you don't get an invitation on your hand. These plants thrive when slightly pot bound so don't over pot them when you repot the plant do so in early spring you should exchange the soil for a well draining succulent soil and make sure that you have a pot with a drainage hole you can prune the roots or simply put it up one pot size the largest peperomias remain relatively small, so they will never grow into large specimens plants. Most species are most easily propagated with leaf cuttings. The peperomia gravolianis or ruby plant, ruby glow, is native to Ecuador and Peru. Peperomia gets its name from the Greek word pepari, which means peppers. Peperomia resembles black pepper plant. It also pairs well with Graptoveria or silver star. Now, you should know that these plants are generally non-toxic to humans and animals. They are summer dormant and prefer partial sun to partial shade. When you plant your plant, make sure that you do so in a container that can be brought indoors when it gets closer to winter. If planting indoors, place it in a room that gets filtered sunlight. Think north-facing window, that is if you're in the northern hemisphere. The best way to water these succulents is to use the soak and dry method. 
That means you should water the soil until it's completely drenched, preferably with water coming out from the bottom drainage hole, and then wait until the soil has completely dried at the bottom. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe to our channel, have a look at our website, and give this video a thumbs up. And as always, have a good day and see you next time. Bye.